All right, guys, back here at the regular spot. Um, really lovely spot. I love coming back here. But I just spotted some really cool stuff down here. Hopefully, I feel like they're sickly today. Like, so, going to get two traps in. Um, just got the regular dog food today. Two traps. Going to leave them out there for probably 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll check them. And then, hopefully, get some food for Chunky. Put a bit of this, a couple of handfuls of this dog food in this trap. I feel like I've seen cichlids down here. I've never seen cichlids down here. I don't know what they were. They could have been um, tilapia. But yeah, we'll see what happens. See if we can even get them to go on the trap. Look guys, I don't know what these are, these larger fish. I have a feeling they are some sort of cichlid. More than likely tilapia, but man, let's, I can't wait to have a look at these. There's some weird fish getting around here I've never seen in here before, so I can't wait to see what the hell they are. But they're hanging around the trap, so they're interested. But the way they're swimming and moving, they're like cichlids. They're definitely cichlids of some sort, so we'll see. So it looks like there's some sword tails down here, so I'm going to chuck a trap down here, and hopefully that'll feed Chunky Boy, but can't wait to see what was over and near that trap because there was some big stuff hanging around. I've never seen anything big hanging around over here or in this area at all, so I'm really interested, but hopefully they're not just all up y'all. Hopefully it's something more interesting, but yeah, we'll see. When we come back, we'll check them in like probably 20, 30 minutes, and then um, hopefully something really interesting is in that trap. All right, guys, we're going to check that first trap, the one where the cichlids or the tilapia more than likely are hanging around and uh, see what we got in there. It's been roughly about half an hour, maybe 35 minutes. We went and grabbed some lunch. Um, of course, we're doing a couple of things in Brisbane today, so going to have a look, see what we got. Hopefully, hopefully it's not tilapia, but if it is, um, you guys probably know the laws in Queensland, Australia. There's a lot of fish hanging around this trap. And, um, look like smelt. Oh, we got a lot of fish in here, guys. There's a lot to look in here. Let's see what we got. A lot of sword tails. I don't think we got any of those. Oh, we got one. Is that, is it a tilapia? Okay, it is. I'm pretty sure that's a tilapia. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone who knows what juvenile tilapia looks like. But I'm almost certain that's a juvenile tilapia. I wish I'd caught a bigger specimen. There's a couple of them here though. Got another one here. Also just got... Um, going to have to weed through these because we're not allowed to take these guys. Mosquito fish. We need to dispatch these guys. And we got sword tails uh, as expected. I'm just gonna dispatch these guys because that's the right thing to do. But yeah, we're gonna take the sword tails home and get a feeding done with Chunky Boy. All right, guys, check the other trap here. Um, maybe we'll have a bigger specimen in here of that cichlid so we can identify it properly. But um, there's a lot of sword tails in here. <laughs> Just loaded with sword tails, guys. I don't think there's anything else other than this massive carp gudgeon. That's huge. We should try feed that to Junkie. <laughs> He's massive. <laughs> He's a fatty. But yeah, there's a, a lot of sword tails. Pretty much, I'm going to say there's close to 100 sword tails in here, but I'm not really going to count them out. At least we got no mosquito fish and no of the none of those tilapia in this one so look at that a little orange platy there that's cool barely see hardly any of those these days oh here's another nice looking platy look at this one nice little spangling on its back a couple of platy here eh? that's cool barely ever see platy these days look here's another platy mickey mouse But yeah, Chunky's gonna have a bit of food here. All 
All right, guys, checking this trap. I just seen some of those cichlids swim in, so I think we got some larger specimens. Oh, we got one riding on top. Oh, wasn't sure what that was, but flicking back. Um, yeah, I think we got some larger ones in here, so we'll be able to identify them properly. And I'm pretty sure they are what we thought they were. Here we go. Moment of truth, guys. Tilapia. The juvenile, the really baby ones, yeah, they were hard to recognize, but yeah, that's what we got. So we've got to dispatch these guys because they are noxious, invasive. And I'm really disappointed because I've never, ever come across them in this here. So it's really disappointing to see that. They're starting to establish in here now. But it's down to happen with all these floods that we have around at the moment. And I guess it was only a matter of time before they started to establish in here. So and here we got more sword tails and a couple more platies and, and look at how we got smelt. I've got a couple of smelt already. But um He's not as orange as the first one we had. But yeah. Gonna get rid of these. I think we got two. Yeah, two of these tilapia are gonna get rid of them. And then yeah. Unpack the rest of these guys and put them in here and we'll take them home. We'll do a feed and All right, guys, I think this is like becoming a fan favorite part of the videos. So we're gonna continue on with the tradition here. And we're gonna give Chunky a nice big feeding of some of the sword tails we caught today. See, I think that he, he must have eaten something that was swimming around the tank, but we'll see if he'll still eat these guys. Um, he looks like he might, he looks interested. Oh, come on. Oh. Big hit, big hit. All right, let's see how many he's gonna down. He's definitely got a full belly, so he must have eaten a couple of fish I had swimming around here already. We'll see though. Put another guy in here. Oof, off camera. Ooh, that fish actually just got away. <laughs> Not good. He'll eat him tomorrow, I'm guessing. All right, got a should be able to try hand feeding this one. Oh, he bit me finger. <laughs> hey, the food, you silly. Boom. That was a quick hit. <laughs> he actually just bit my finger, guys. Like, what the hell? Alright, let's see. Frenzy of sword tails coming in. I guess he's not super hungry, I just dumped like four of them in there. But you know, he hit them. He let a couple go. There is snacks later. Oh wait, no, he's lining one up. I don't know if we're gonna get that on camera. Come on, Chunky, squeeze through. Ooh, see if we can get him, get this action. Alright guys, anyways, um, so we'll let him enjoy his meal, but oh, man, let me know if you want to see some more of this chunky boy feeding, maybe we'll do some videos just feeding him, but I'm also going to do a video this week, you know, going over what it's like, what's been like my experiences owning chunky boy, um, yeah, it's been interesting owning a predator fish for the first time, I'm just feeding him the live fish, so I've really enjoyed it and he's become very personal with me. It's really funny that he came up and bit my finger though. I've never seen him do that. Probably wasn't out of aggression. Probably just saw the food and came up and hit my finger. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the views and so close to a thousand subscribers. The three month grind is starting to pay off now. <laughs> it's been a long three months, I can assure you that, but we're almost there guys to a thousand. So happy with that, so excited. Anyways guys, stay tuned for the next one.